Today it will be sidekick, Yoko Geri Kikomi. Um, as usual, we're going to go through a few tips and uh, exercises to help improve your kick. Okay, so as with the other uh, kicks that come to the side, the back foot needs to be rotated away from the kick. Okay, so uh, most people get it wrong and when they call it a side kick because it's not really going to the side. We're not making like a side split kind of position. What I'm doing is I'm turning my hip over and almost making like a long uh, front stance type position when I kick. So this foot wants to be turned away from the target this way. So heel towards the target and delivering the kick from here. So I can turn my head away, chamber the kick, and send it into the target there. So what we want to do is use that back foot to press through into the target. So from here, if I just, uh, I'll take hand this so, so this way, if I'm, if I'm getting my, my foot against the target here, the back foot is turned away from the target, and I can press through that foot, as well as pushing through my glutes and my hip muscles, pushing into the target this way. So if I'm on the side of my foot, here, I've got nothing to push over. And if there's any kind of resistance, I'm going to roll over that foot. So my foot rotates into the target and drives from that position there. So a common mistake when people are delivering the Yokogeri is that the kick actually turns into a mawashi. So they get their knee into position here, but then they bring the kick around into like a mawashi. So the finished position looks correct if you were to take a picture at the end. However, the delivery is uh, incorrect. And of course, it's the delivery that's the most important. So from here, we want to lift the knee up into position and make sure we're coming from this hip extension. Here, extending back into the target there. Extending back into the target. Okay, so we, what we need to do then is need to keep the whole of the kick in front of our body here. Okay, so this line in line with my hip, I'll come towards the camera. This line here, I don't want to go behind it. Okay, as soon as I bring my foot behind, it becomes like my washing. I want to keep my body in front, my whole leg in front of that line and deliver the kick back this way. We're going to make sure that we are recovering the kick afterwards. So this is going to encourage that re-chamber of the kick. So uh, although it's a thrust kick, we still want to have the snapping action backwards. Every kick needs to be returned afterwards to the kind of position as if we was going to do another one. Um, we don't just want to follow through and kind of put ourselves vulnerable at the end. So my exercise is here. I'm going to skip up the back foot we can use different variations, but I'm going to use this one today. We can skip up the back foot, deliver the kick, back over. And again, the chamber is as if we're going to do another. So it comes from there, back here again. As if I was going to send in a second one into the target from there. So up, deliver, and back. Over the target. Deliver, and back. The next, back. The next, and back. The next, and back. So there's another video with some detail on a, uh, on a basic or fundamental kick in Shotokan Karate. Hopefully you found it helpful again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you on the next one.